Live from Market Square in downtown San Antonio, this is SA Live. Hey y'all, I'm Taylor. I'm Blake. We are the Power Brothers, and this is SA Live. Ooh. Woo! Very Fantastic. nice. Yes. Love is in the air down here at Market Square, and they're getting ready for all the Valentine's festivities. Oh, yes. That? Yes. Yes. And Mike Osterhage has his sexy voice for you today. Happy Valentine's Thanks to cold Day medicine. from SA Live. <laughs> or, just the, or just the cold that I have. And so I'm kind of like, you know, that's this. So I can sing Lou Rawls. <laughs> You'll never find. So, anyway. Oh, well, we hope you are she's enjoying your day. I feel <laughs> awful, but she's entertained. I'm I very entertained. I hope some of you were too. I'm getting a kick out of that. We want to see your cute Valentine's Day photos because we know you've got them. Even if it's a picture of, you know, maybe your, your, your Valentine, your kids, your yeah. pets, whoever you love. Everybody, because it, it, that's what it's all about. It's just the, the love, whatever it is. So, <laughs> yes. Um, Be sure to share that at SA Live KSAT on Facebook and Twitter, and we'll put up some of those photos of love. And if you're looking for a last-minute place to go for a nice little snack, how about over there on the kind of near north side, the bread box turned into a fun Valentine's. And boy, do they have a love story. Oh, yes. Lucas and Tina started their business seven years ago. Their love for making bread connected them to other businesses. They describe themselves as best friends who get to work together every day. And they have two boys and hope to continue their thriving business because all of their food rises to the occasion. Yeah, yeah. And if you've never <laughs> been to the bread box, you have sampled some of their delicious baked goods because you supply, Tina, how many restaurants around town? 60 restaurants and hotels and food trucks. My goodness, what is, what's your day like? What does it start? When does it end? It starts at 3 a.m. and it ends about 9 p.m. Oh my gosh, that's almost like that's, you. That's no, no, no longer. <laughs> I'm out here at two. Oh, okay. Well, she's up at two, so yeah, she's got she's got me beat. So, um, but it, it's a labor of love, and I mean, the the baked goods that you have are just so wonderful Thank too. You. So Thank I guess you. it makes it all worth it, right? Yes, absolutely. Okay, so what are we doing here? We are making a quick and easy last minute chocolate fondue. So we've got really nice dark chocolate that's high quality mm -hmm. and then you've got heavy whipping cream over there with you mike that you can pour right into this pot and like you said uh you don't want to boil it you just want to scald it yes right? that's right um boiling heavy whipping cream or milk can uh, cause curdling and that is not a good texture for anything actually so, so scald it not scold it yes, so, <laughs> yes. don't yes. yell at it don't yell at it no nope. and, and what's the ratio one to one um we've got about 12 ounces of chocolate in here and we've got two cups of uh heavy cream so so that'll keep it, it creamier instead of yes it'll thicker. be nice and this will actually be really nice and thick and okay. this is better than kind of the old-fashioned way instead of putting in the microwave, which oh, you could yes, do. Oh, yes, for sure. So this will um, allow the chocolate to stay nice and smooth throughout the entire fondue process. And um, all we're going to do is let this milk mm -hmm. melt that chocolate down for just a couple of minutes, and then we'll take that spatula so and stir it about. We don't have to stir it right now. Just we're just going to let, let it sit. Let it be. We're going to let yeah. it do its thing. Okay. It's, it's, do its thing. All right. <laughs> and... <laughs> Sorry. Uh, we are uh, with fondue, chocolate fondue. I mean, you can just about put anything in there, right? Anything. Your recommendations? Yes. Mm -hmm. Fruit, uh, fruit bananas, cookies, uh, pound cake, mm -hmm. uh, pineapple works really good in here, too. You could do dried fruits. Oh, really? Dried? Yeah. I never thought about that. Dried fruits or nuts. Okay. Uh, that or might be just, a little bit hard. Right, <laughs> right, right. Nuts are good. Stick a <laughs> spoon in there and... Mm -hmm. You could actually like take a banana and dip it into the fondue and then dip that into like crushed peanuts or almonds and then let that set up. Like oh my goodness, that's, that's next yes. level fondue stuff. And if you have leftover chocolate in your fondue pot, you can go ahead and dip all those strawberries and set them up on a sheet pan and let them chill and you've got chocolate covered strawberries for Ooh, a couple of okay. days. There we go. So we've got to right. slice up some bananas here. Okay. Mm -hmm. And your place is over there. Uh, right off Bitters, just west of 281. That's right. And not only do they supply all the bread and everything, but I mean lunches and, and dinners. And we do right? breakfast and lunch, and then we do brunch on the weekends. Oh, brunch must be off the chain. 
<laughs> it is we very busy. Box. Yes. Tell me about brunch. Um, <laughs> brunch, we have assorted egg dishes. Of course, we're focusing on all of our bread that we make in-house as well. So we've got our focaccias. We've got our milk and honey English muffins, which are our number one selling item and is what started our business. And milk we've and got, honey English muffins? Yes. Brioche hamburger buns. Ooh, hoagie rolls. That's good. Yes. So we make eggs Benedict. Uh, we do an egg sardou, an egg som uh, commodore. We make all of our own sausages. I want to go there now. Yes. <laughs> Tell you what, here, you, you read that. Okay. We're going to go to your restaurant. Right. So. We'll, we'll okay. have fun. Uh, we've got about a minute. Can we start yeah. stirring this Let's and see what's going it. on here? Yeah. Okay. So just kind of get it from the bottom and it'll just start forming together. Oh, it is. It's going to make you feel like you're not doing it right, but then all of a sudden it'll pull itself together and become one. And now, can it. folks stop by today for some last-minute Valentine's Day oh, treats yes, and sweets, absolutely. I'm assuming? We've got mm -hmm. cupcakes, cookies, muffins, Look you at name this it. cake. Yes, we've got cakes, pies. Okay. And not only dipping fruit, but dip a, dip a chocolate chip cookie and fondue. Why not? Okay. Like no, rules. Yeah. no rules. I'm pretty sure you could you could dip most most things into fondue. <laughs> getting it all. Got to get it from the bottom. Go ahead and start dipping there. Mm -hmm. so, okay. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Hold on. I'm just going to spear this right here. Ooh, yes, indeed. Okay. Your favorite thing to dip in fondue? Strawberries. Strawberries. Okay. Go. All, all right. right. Okay. Well, if you would like more information about the bread box and some of their great breads, uh, dinner, lunch, whatever the case may be lots of chocolate stuff, mm -hmm. just head on over to SA Live and click on the SA Live tab. Oh, thank you mm -hmm. so very much. I appreciate that. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, that's so good. Mm. Okay. Mm. Speaking of chocolate and sweets and yeah. all that romantic stuff, do you have a favorite romantic movie? Yes, we were talking about this yesterday. Mm -hmm. I have a favorite romantic scene, which of course is the one I talk about every Christmas, which is the one from uh, It's a Wonderful Life. Life. But yep. then the favorite romantic movie has to be uh, Breakfast at Tiffany's. Audrey Hepburn, Audrey George Hepburn. Pappard. Mm -hmm. Holly Golightly, yeah. yes, yes, yes. Great music by Henry Mancini. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm a fan of the, the Notebook, Yes, I Love You, mm -hmm. Three Coins in a Fountain, so many. All right, so we want to know, <coughs> oh, no, I'm sorry. We, we, we thought it was a fun topic, so we decided to ask our crew about their favorites. This was interesting. <laughs> love Actually, love that one. Um, uh, when Harry Met Sally. Yes, yes. Uh, an affair to remember, oh my god. So what is your favorite my romantic movie? Most favorite, I think, is the Barbra Streisand version of A Star is Born, but I also love Pretty Woman. So what happened after he climbed up the tower and rescued her? She rescues him right back. My favorite romantic movie has to be I love, 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 Fools, Fools Rush In. With a few grace, papaya hot dogs. <laughs> oh. I really like the Hitman's Bodyguard. We slow danced all night. Uh, that's a tough one for me. I'm gonna say Sandlot. You play ball like a girl! The love stories in all of the Fast and Furious movies. <laughs> I can think of two movies off the top of my head. One is Serendipity. That's just crazy. Uh, the other movie is Jerry Maguire, because I like sports and, and romance mixed together. It's so much just fun. Shut and, uh, you had me at hello. Uh, I mean, dirty dancing, come on. Nobody puts baby in a corner. It's Nightmare on Elm Street. That is not a romantic movie. <laughs> it is for some. I would expect nothing less from him. <laughs> Serendipity is a good one, though, too. Yes. Yeah. You mentioned that one, too, the other day. Uh, See, Jeff and I have a lot in common, our director, so. All right. If you're looking for some last-minute date ideas, we have got some fun stuff, whether it's a girls' night out or just, you know, something with the family. Um, hold on, where are we? Looking for a fun and creative date. Oh, Why not become... it looks like the same thing. I'm so sorry. Why not become a detective for the night at Maggiano's? They are hosting a crime mystery dinner tonight from 6.30 to 9.30. You should still have time to make a reservation. Just head to salive.com for more. Okay, and what's better than laughter to make a date even better? Comedian Heather McDonald has shows at the Laugh Out Loud Comedy 
or is that LOL comedy from tonight mm -hmm. through Saturday. You may remember she stopped by SA Live last time she was in town. And for the little ones, you have time to take them to Nadler's Bakery and Deli between 3 and 5 today for a Princess Valentine's Day gram. This includes a pink heart cookie, a pink rose, and photos with Princess Aurora and oh, Rapunzel. Wow. That's over in the Medical Center at 1621 Babcock Road. Sound Cream Airstream will have a special Valentine's Day edition and sunset session at the Pearl this evening, and they will spend love songs and dedications from 6.30 to 9. You can purchase food and drink from the Bottling Company. Was Heather McDonald the one that we did the, um, the um, wing eating contest with? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Still ahead on SA Live, the sweet sounds of the Powell Brothers. Find out where you can catch them later on this weekend. And next on the show, more ticket giveaways at the San Antonio Stock Show and Rodeo. Find out who you can win right after the break. Favorite pickup line is, if you were a booger, I'd pick you first. Somebody call the cops because it must be illegal to look that good. Uh, I've never used this line, but I've always liked it. It was so cheesy, but I've always wanted to use it. And it's, do your feet hurt? Because you've been running through my mind all day. <sighs> I don't use pickup lines, John. Just look at my smile. I just smile. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, if you have under eye bags or crow's feet, we're gonna show you how to get rid of them in just a few minutes. Yes, minutes, Life got, lifestyle consultant Scott DeFalco <laughs> is here to share the secrets of his amazing new technology and change the way you see yourself in the mirror. This technology is amazing. Fiona, we don't do secrets here on SA Live. No, I've we're told you that before. You this, right? <laughs> <laughs> Plexiderm is certainly not a secret, taking social media in the country by storm. I have not stopped going since the last time I was here, and you know why. 
Because of my good buddy Richie. Do you remember his nickname? <laughs> Richie Bags. Richie Bags. That's Richie right. Bags, that's yes. Right. And it's this live video that we have that's made him so famous and really has made Plexiderm really, really popular. What he just did, Fiona, is rub a small amount of Plexiderm under both eyes. Don't change the channel. Don't blink. Because in two minutes, right before your very eyes, both of them will disappear. I know. And you watch it happen in yep. minutes, which is amazing that this product. I was in the room when we shot this video. We were just, we were floored. It was really, really incredible. I mean, you see it happening where it just starts to get rid of those <laughs> lines around the lips and lines around wrinkles of the neck as well. And yep. of course, the bags under Richie Bag's eyes. Okay. And this, of course, works on everyday people too. Yes. Everyday people. Mm -hmm. um, and the great thing about it is that with our new and improved formula, not just is it working quicker, but it's working on all the problem areas of the face, as you're going to see with the before and afters. And this is great, Fiona, because it's not just the under eye mm -hmm. bags like with Richie. It's like you said, the forehead lines, the crow's feet, the laugh lines around your mouth, and that loose skin under your neck you can get with the normal signs of aging. Or maybe somebody that's lost a lot of weight. They feel right. great about themselves, right. but then their skin can get loose under there and they get insecure again about their appearance. You're seeing it right there on your screen. It is working on that problem area as well and doing it in minutes. And look at that. I mean, this is no surgery, no downtime. Right. You get results in minutes and, you know, real people are letting folks know how well this product works. Yeah, they are. They yeah. are. And, and great thing is it's just a cream, completely mm -hmm. topical, no painful injections, no expensive doctor mm -hmm. visits. And I'm going to bring up a, a, a word people are familiar mm -hmm with called collagen mm -hmm. because that's what, re what is responsible for the elasticity in your skin over time as that degrades that's why you get the sags and the wrinkles that's why people normally will go to the doctor for those right. painful expensive injections now they don't have to completely topical and as you're seeing with Richie and the before and afters Fiona it works in minutes yes and we have some testimonials right yes we do I could have 20 hours of sleep and people always say oh you look tired <laughs> which I'm 58 expect gravity to hit so when I saw Plexiderm and I saw the advertisement, I definitely had reservations when I first came in to use the product. And looking in the mirror, I can definitely say it's a winner. And I think every woman in America would want to use it, whether they're young. And I've had bags from the time I was 28 years old to 58. And uh, I'll wait till I'm 75 to get the whole facelift, but maybe with Plexiderm, and I won't need it. I love Veronica. Gravity sucks, doesn't it? Right? She talks about gravity hitting. It gets us all over time, Fiona. It really, mm -hmm. really does. Now with Plexiderm, uh, we're making it easy because the key signs of aging, um, you know, they're really, really tough on people. And getting older is great. You know, you're conquering. Right? <laughs> Don't right? laugh at me when I say no, that. But, no, you know, no, You're taking on life. You're conquering life. It's fighting those key signs of aging. Oh, That's right. the problem. But Plexiderm's making mm -hmm. it easy. And it's not just regular people. It's mm -hmm. professionals that are, that are using it as well. When, when I first looked in the mirror, I thought I was looking at an eight by 10 photograph of myself about 10 years ago. And I think if someone is working with the public in sales, marketing, outside, it's good to have that edge. And I think Plexiderm could perhaps give you that edge. It does work. And I do see the results. Why not give it a shot? What have you got to lose? Hi guys, my name is Sandy Marinese. I'm a professional hair and makeup artist. And one of the number one question that I always get in my chair is, can you make me look younger? So we had a few people that we applied it to. And some of them at first I was like, oh, I don't know if this is gonna work. And I was so impressed how fast, efficient, and how well it really worked. Now I could really say to people, yes, I can make you look younger. So how does it work with makeup? Yeah, I get that question a lot. Real simple process, Fiona. Put Plexiderm on a clean, dry face. Wait mm -hmm. 10 minutes, then your makeup is normal. The greatest thing about Plexiderm, not just how quickly it works, how long it lasts. Going to get you through six to eight hours of your day. So a whole work day, maybe a special event at night. All right, and there's, of course, Richie. Oh, there's he's Richie Bags. No, no more. more, Fiona. Yeah, he's really gotten famous from this video. He didn't like the nickname at first, but now <laughs> he embraces it because this guy is a rock star. And there is, of course, the <laughs> SA Live special on the screen, 50% off, plus Free shipping. Just call 800-693-9286. That's 800-693-9286. Or head to Plexiderm.com.
Oh, Mike is so thrilled right now because I've arranged this surprise for him. You know who else is going to be at the rodeo? The San Antonio Zoo. They have a few ambassadors out there educating visitors on animals. And, of course, one came by today was to show us some Jeff? love. This was totally my idea. It was me and Craig. Figures. Craig Pelkey, you brought a friend who loves to hug. Tell us about what, who you've got there. This is Fiona. She's our Angolan python. <laughs> so Fiona, meet See? Fiona. You're your sandwich by Fiona's right now. <laughs> and you said she's about 18 years old. Yeah, she's 18 years old. And Obviously, that's as big as she's getting. Yeah, she's pretty much full size. Okay. Okay, and big people enough. can head out to the rodeo to get up close with more animals, right? That's right. We're at the rodeo for the first time. Uh, we have a whole assortment of our, our animal friends there, mammals, birds, reptiles. We even have a fish exhibit that we built just for that, so it's a great opportunity. Oh. Okay. Snakes don't have a lot to do with the rodeo, though. That, don't, don't come on. <laughs> anyway, I'm sorry. So, thank you very thank much you for being so here. Much, Thanks for Greg. having us. I think. All right, well, we continue our rodeo giveaways this week. Yes, indeed. Hey, Kelsey Ballerini, we have got two tickets to go see her show, two carnival passes, and two Any Day Grounds passes. Just go to ksat.com slash rodeo to enter for your chance to win, and good luck. Snakes at the rodeo. <laughs> yes. <laughs> anyway, hey, we have a duo here today. Uh, with. They're going to play with love. They have a love for music, and they've been playing in the rodeo grounds. They'll be playing there February 23rd. The Powell Brothers released their new album, Leave on the Light, tomorrow, and are celebrating with a performance at The Rustic. Their folk rock, R rootsy soul music, is about their life on the road and their passion for making music, especially their struggles with losing their childhood home to Hurricane Harvey in Houston. Here to perform Coming Home, their love letter to their hometown of Houston, The Powell Brothers.
Hi, I'm David Elder, and today on Elder Eats, I'm taking you to a high-end steakhouse, a poke place, a really iconic burger joint, and a brand new meat market here in San Antonio. On today's show, let me eat the whole thing. We're going inside two new spots and two iconic spots. That's high quality stuff, man. One of those iconic spots has been featured on Food Network's Man vs. Food, and one of them is a downtown San Antonio staple. That is delicious. Plus, get ready to shake things up. So grab a fork and grab a knife. This is Elder E. Located on the west side, this iconic restaurant is known for their spicy ghost pepper challenge and huge burgers. There's nothing here I wouldn't recommend. Let's go inside Chunky's Burgers. A zipper burger is phenomenal and it's really good. Chunky's Burgers has been serving delicious burgers in San Antonio since 2004. Back then, there weren't that as many uh, burger joints around, so we decided to do something different. Since opening the burger joint, Chunky's has become known for their Four Horsemen Burger Challenge. A burger made with jalapenos, serranos, habanero sauce, and one of the spiciest peppers in the world, the ghost pepper. extremely hot. People try it all the time. They do the challenge to try to finish it, beat it, but it's it's one hot burger. I didn't dare try the burger because I wanted to have a good day, but the steam from the peppers alone was enough to peel paint. One burger I would try though is their cheesy fried mac and cheese bun burger. Mac and cheese gets breaded and deep fried. Then, one or two patties, your choice, get seared and stacked with two kinds of melted cheese and sautéed onions. Look at this thing. That is a panko breaded mac and cheese bun. All right, so you got two layers of that. We got two patties, cheese, sautéed onions, and then their garlic parm fries on the side. It is huge. That is, uh, that's an experience for sure. Wow. That is really good. It's all deep fried mac and cheese in the middle. This is phenomenal. That is extremely messy. Also on the menu, a refreshing burger with loads of avocado and grilled ham, the Monterey. This has ham, you got a little bit of Swiss cheese, you have onions, pickles, tomatoes, lettuce, and you got their patty on there as well, and a huge glob of avocado just thrown in there. That's just a big old burger. Wow. Pickles cut through everything, and it really adds a great little vinegar bite to it, and the buns are toasted to perfection. It's really, really good. And if barbecue sauce and onion rings are your thing, they got you covered. It's their hickory barbecue sandwich. It is everything you want when you think of a barbecue burger. That's just mean looking. Oh wow. Oh, the cheese is melted perfect on it. The barbecue sauce is really good. It has a nice tang to it. The onion rings have a great crunch to them. I'm gonna eat the whole thing. <laughs> Chunky's Burgers is always packed, and for good reason. Their burgers are delicious, and the rustic atmosphere makes it feel like you're visiting a hole-in-the-wall joint. Are you guys looking for a great place to get a delicious burger? Well, come on out to Chunky's. It's iconic. That's where the good stuff's at. Now, we're cruising to the north side, and we're gonna go inside Stone Oak's newest poke spot, San Poke. Poke's owner Mike Liu, his brother, and his wife opened the Poke spot after spending years in the Chinese buffet industry. We've been in a restaurant business for years, so uh, family business has been all over. Now, their new Poke spot is serving up sushi grade fish cut fresh in house. Basically, I was a sushi chef before, so I know pretty much about freshness, about the fish, and everything. The menu has a lot of interesting options on there, like brown rice and freshly cut zucchini noodles. Quality is, is top notch, but I mean, just um, the amount itself, it fills you up a lot better than a sushi roll for about the same price. And they're also offering unique protein options like pulled pork and shredded barbecue beef. Zucchini noodles is a very special thing. Everybody loves it. The idea is simple. Select a bowl or burrito and pack it full of as much stuff as you can. So when you come out to San Poke, you're gonna think it's all gonna be fish. Well, that's not true. They actually have chicken, pork, and check this out, barbecue, beef as well. 
Open it up like Christmas time. It's just a big old sushi roll. You get to hold in your hand and eat. That is really good barbecue meat. The veggies have a great crunch to them, extremely fresh, everything here. You're making it all by hand. I mean, you're seeing the sushi rice that gets laid down on there. It's rolled right in front of you. You can just make it rain, baby. <laughs> now, if you don't want the burrito form, of course, you can come out and get the bowl. Now, look at that. I'm gonna take a bite, though. I'm gonna get a little bit of everything. There we go. It's like beyond fresh. It's like hyper fresh. It's a little savory and it's a little sweet from the fruit. Sam Poke is also serving up fresh fruit teas and bubble teas made to order. North side right now, 281. There's nothing like this around. Pop a hole into the top. Look at that. It looks like a light bulb. Oh my goodness. And when it comes to these drinks, there are a ton of different flavors and add-ons to choose from. That is really, really good. I love Zampoki and I love their bubble tea. It says, uh, eat healthy and live better. So uh, this is what we want everybody to do. Sam Poke is fresh, fast, and delicious. The perfect spot on the north side to get your sushi fix. So you guys got to come out here. Sam Poke now on the north side of San Antonio. They're open. They're serving up fresh sushi-grade fish in burritos or bowls. And you can get your boba teas. And they also have slushies as well. And you can have it your way. Come out here and pick it however you want it. And make sure you grab a boba tea, too. Coming up, I'm taking you inside a San Antonio steakhouse that is serving up one of the world's most coveted slices of meat. That is delicious. Plus, later in the show, we're going to a meat market that's roots go back more than 50 years here in South Texas. This is phenomenal.
Well, I just got out of the rodeo and I'm hankering for a great steak. So I'm here in downtown San Antonio to go into one of the most refined, elegant, and award-winning steakhouses here in all of San Antonio. I'm talking about Bohannon's Prime Steaks and Seafood. I'm gonna go inside, show you what they got cooking up in the kitchen. We're gonna talk with Chef Mark Bohannon himself. Let's go check it out. Located in the heart of downtown San Antonio near the Riverwalk is Bohannon's Prime Steaks and Seafood, an award-winning restaurant known for its high level of service and for their rare cuts of beef that you can't find at your average steakhouse. And here we go, the order's up. Chef Mark Bohannon opened the steakhouse more than 15 years ago in 2002 in a building built in the 1800s. I'll never forget that day. His mission? to offer guests flawless service, exceptional wine, and the best cuts of steak he can find. We sell at Bohannon's all prime grade steaks from Allen Brothers out of Chicago now for 14 of the 16 years. We have also added the Miyazaki Prefecture out of Japan, which we lovingly call A5. That simply means five grades above prime. This one right here is the A5 beef filet. That means it's five levels above prime. This stuff is Insane. Here we go. Looks delicious. I'm excited. <laughs> First off, it just melts in your mouth. The outside has a nice char to it. It's perfectly salty. And that's a part of the preparation that they do here in Bohannon's in the kitchen. And they just crack a little bit of pepper on the outside of it. This is by far one of the juiciest, best, most tender steaks and flavorful. This is what you need to order when you come out here. I'll be the first to say that nothing in life is perfect, but the way we look at it is if you shoot for perfection, God help us, we're gonna get at least what we can accept. The steak selection here is unlike anywhere else, and the sides are just as impressive. Here we go, we have some red wine and veal reduction mushrooms. These mushrooms taste just as good as that steak, that's crazy. Check that out, cream spinach. Oh, that looks good. That is phenomenal. Even if you don't like spinach, you're gonna like this cream spinach. That is so good. The restaurant has an award-winning wine list and a bourbon that is aged just for them. So something you're not gonna find anywhere else when you come out here to Bohannon's, they have their own blend of Woodford. Look at that, that's bourbon baby right there. Ooh, oh that is smooth. Getting to be one of the best steakhouses in the nation doesn't come easy, but Chef Bohannon has the recipe for success. We're all like-minded. It's the total experience. We're here from the valets until you leave with the valets. You're gonna love that. When it comes to living your best life or celebrating a big occasion, Bohannon's has you covered. I would eat this uh, with my bare hands right now. Next on Elder Eats, I get grilling with one of the newest, oldest meat markets in town.
up on today's episode is on the north side and a new meat market whose roots go back more than 50 years in Texas. Really good quality. Let's go inside the newest location of the Atrix Meat Market. Beatrix Meat Market is from Poth, Texas, and is known for having high quality cattle. This is our 54th year of business. It was family owned and operated by three brothers and a brother-in-law, and then our family bought them out in 2008. The meat market here in San Antonio serves the same great cuts of meat, along with certified Angus beef and prime cuts. The carcass end, what we're really known for down in uh, Poth is just fresh carcass meat. Um, not a lot of meat markets do that anymore. All of their meat is cut fresh. You get your prime rib or your bone-in ribeyes, uh, boneless ribeyes, your chuck roast, chuck steaks. We can count uh, ribs for them. We can really section off a portion of the rib. This is our main seasoning that we carry in our Poth location. My personal favorite is uh, Ortman's all-purpose seasoning. And their jalapeno cheese sausage is cased in-house. It's a mixture of pork and beef sausage. It's a Polish style sausage, so it's ground once. And so there's real bits of jalapeno slices and diced cheddar cheese in there. And to know how it tastes, well, you know we had to grill it up. So here we go, we're gonna try out the strip. Cheers, cheers. cheers. That's a good steak, man. All right, something else that was just grilling up out there, check this out. This is the, the ribeye. It comes into us about a two to three week wet age. Oh my God. This is phenomenal. It's meat butter. <laughs> check that out. You can see the jalapeno, you can see the cheese in there. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, really good. It's very hot. It's very hot. <laughs> but it's really good. That's high quality stuff, man. Theatrix is a great addition to San Antonio, and expect big events from them in the future. Well, it reminds me of the meat markets that I went to as a kid. When we'd head down to the coast, we'd always stop at these little places like this. So you're gonna find something, <laughs> something you like. It's really tough to try to, uh, you know, convey to people that to shop here when it's convenient to shop at grocery stores and other places. Um, but once you kind of get on the schedule of, hey, we'll go and shop at uh, somewhere else, but for the proteins, we'll shop at Theatrix for things. This is how we did it in Poth for 50 plus years. We're trying to bring that to San Antonio and figuratively and, you know, visually bottling it up, bringing it up here, smells all the different things that we do and opening it to uh, the community around here. Next week on Elder Eats, a new donut shop is opening on the Riverwalk, and we're going inside first. Plus, we're going inside a Korean-Mexican fusion restaurant in San Marcos.
So a big shout out to everybody who was on the show today. Thank you so much, and thanks for watching, and thanks to Chunky's Burgers. We got Bohannon's, Sam Poke, and of course, right behind me, Viatrix over here off West Avenue in Blanco, and they're tucked away in the middle of a shopping center of all places, right? But it's a great meat market, and they're giving really competitive prices on all their meat. And you guys, thank you so much. And if you guys want to watch more Elder Eats, of course, you can go on to eldereats.com, or you can check me out on YouTube. We got our KSAT TV, and of course, you can follow me on social media at Elder Eats. But just keep watching SA Live every day. We're going to be giving you different little insights into what's going on here with Elder Eats and every Thursday at 1.30. But thanks for watching, guys. Let's keep eating.